see where we got these chemicals from, make sure to watch our video unboxing of a lab kit. Hey guys! Welcome back to our channel. So today we are doing a chemistry challenge. Parana, what is this chemistry challenge? Within the given time of 10 seconds, both of us will be allowed to pick two random chemicals. At last, we have to combine the four chemicals and perform an experiment that works, of course. The experiment has to work, right? So, now shall you pick? Ready? Steady? Go! So we have decided which experiment to perform. We have four chemicals in front of us now. I chose sodium carbonate and phenolphthalein. And I chose hydrochloric acid and barium chloride. We also have some water in a beaker. Now we have four chemicals here. Here I am pouring in the first glass some a few pieces of sodium carbonate. Now. I am taking a phenolphthalein and pouring 2-3 to three drops of it into this wine glass. After this we have to pour a few pinches of barium chloride into the third glass. And in the fourth glass we are pouring hydrochloric acid 2-3 to three ml. Now in the glass with the sodium carbonate, we must pour the normal tap water that we kept in a beaker. Now pour it into the wine glass and see the color change. Watch carefully. Whoa! Look at that color change! Did you see that? It made liquid. Looks like it's uh, you know champagne or something. Now we are making it milkshake. Whoa, look at the consistency and the light color change that happened there. It really looks like strawberry milkshake, doesn't it? Okay, next is juice. Come on, juicy. Lemonade. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just look at that. It just lost its color. Hey there, lemonade. Whoa. Guys, it's not safe to drink, so please use caution. So that experiment was a success. So in glass 1, we had sodium carbonate 2-3 to three pinches. In glass 2, we had phenolphthalein 2-3 to three drops. So in glass 3, barium chloride 3 pinches. And finally, in the fourth glass, we had hydrochloric acid 2-3 to three ml. caution do not drink any of these liquids also remember that always wear gloves at all times and do not use your hand to pick or touch any of these chemicals they might they might be really harmful to your skin now let's see the next experiment experiment number two bubbles materials required for this trick is Two paper cups or how many ever you need, a cutter or a knife, soap and water solution, a handkerchief and two rubber bands or it matters on how many cups you have. So now I'm just going to cut this closed area of the plastic cup and we're done. This hole, we should blow through that hole, and here we have to cover it with a handkerchief. I also got a few rubber bands, we will need these guys. Right? 
Now all we have to do is just cover this handkerchief on the bigger part of the paper cup. Just put it there and secure it with the rubber band. It's pretty easy, just watch this. Take a bowl big enough to dip the cup in and add some soap and mix it using a dropper or something. Now just gently blow through it and watch the magic happen. Ooh, so many bubbles! Until receive notifications from our channel every time we upload a new video.